Hello and welcome everyone, Benny from Benny Break 702 here. Same handles on IG and on eBay. Gonna get this video out before the Timberwolves game. Uh, game two is tonight at 7 p.m. my time. So hopefully we go through this pretty quick. But yeah, quick mail day for you. Um, it's been a long time since I did a mail day. So the reason why I stopped doing mail days is I had somebody reach out to me on Instagram and I was buying a bunch of Tiger Woods rookies, the 2001 upper decks, and I was buying a ton of them. And I was getting them for 14, 15 bucks. And this guy reached out to me and says, hey, I, I saw your video. Uh, you gave me this great idea about trying to pick up cards. I, I too have been picking up some Tiger Woods cards lately and I've been getting them for 16, $17. And it dawned on me that I was saying the price I was getting them at this guy probably heard me say 15 bucks, started just bidding everything at 16, and it's exactly why I won like one of them ever since. So I stopped doing videos because of that. Doing videos again uh, because I think it's important in the hobby to share what you're doing. And that's the whole point of me doing this whole video series thing is uh, not so I can get free product and you know boast my 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 PCs and, and flex cards and all this kind of crap that everybody else does. I don't have any flex cards, so whatever. Uh, so I do have some PC cards in here. We'll get to those. But uh, basically to show you what I've been buying, kind of see maybe you can spark something for you to do uh, so that way it kind of help you out too. So uh, let's get started. Let's start with the center row because if there's three, you always want to start in the middle. Um, I don't even know what order this is in. Not alphabetical, that I could tell you. So let's start with the Junior Caminero. It's a white border from this year's Heritage. Got that for a couple bucks. The big card in here, the Paul Skeens uh, Yellow Lunar uh, to 75. This is the big card that's in here. A uh, Anthony Richardson Blue Zenith Pacific. A Self Expressions of Amen Thompson. I think it's a pretty cool card. A Ice of Brandon Miller. Uh, Shy. So I had one of these before. It gemmed and I sold it for like 70 bucks. So I'm going to try to do it again with the status of Shy or Shay. Um, Great Expectations LeBron. I don't know if that's worth anything or not. Sketchbook 2022 Playbook out of 99. That is in here. We have a Fred Warner, red, white, and blue. Keenan Allen Camo, X Fractor, and Pink Fractor. <laughs> uh, montage Purple of Justin Jefferson. Really cool cards. Number 249. Yeah, numbered to 49. Joel Embiid, red, white, and blue. Joel Embiid, red, white, and blue. Jason Tatum, red, white, and blue. Kevin Durant, red, white, and blue. Prism. You could probably guess why I'm doing that because we're on Team USA if you haven't figured that out. Uh, color match orange of Rookies and Stars of Jamar Chase. A blue Halliburton. This is number two. I almost said 66, but that was because I was holding it upside down. It's number 99. Marquee of Jimmy Butler. Kenneth Walker the third on a Genesis. Hopefully his stuff bounces back. Uh, he played abysmal last year. But I think having... I know it's going to be between Gino and Sam Howell. I think Sam Howell wins that job. And I think, uh, I think uh, that helps him out a tremendous amount. Because then they actually have a true pass and attack. Casey Schmidt on the green auto. I think I have another one of him in here. Uh, Wyatt Hudapol. On the blue, I got two blues and a regular refractor. Another yellow lunar of Ruben Santana. Marvin Mims RPA, a uh, napkin patch as they say. Uh, Justin Jefferson Pandora, right there, numbered to 400. This one is numbered 285 or 400. Anthony Volpe on the uh, purple mini diamonds from Bowman's Best. Maybe it's not purple mini diamonds. Maybe it's just mini diamonds. Mike Trout on the red from 2021? 2022. Um, uh, Her Her Heritage or Archives? Heritage. It's number two, 573. So that's a weird number. Uh, Jacob Wilson, I got three of his refractors, and I got two mood rings of his. He's a guy I like. He's basically the only A's prospect I like. And the A's are moving to Vegas, so I'm trying to pay a little more attention. Uh, Denerche Valdez on the auto from Bowman's Best. This card is not gradable because look at that off-centeredness. Oh my goodness. But 
good one to flip because I got it for a couple bucks. He's a pretty good uh, prospect. Joe Burrow on the die cut right there. Rookie Joe Burrow die cut. Um, Let's go with this one over here. We'll end it with the uh, PC cards. So we got some more here. We'll start actually just with this. Let's say the only slab in here. Um, I do have some mags, but it's the only slab. It's a Jacob Wilson paper, SGC 10. Uh, I got it for four bucks. So kind of figure it's an easy flip. Maybe I'll throw it up there for like 12 and someone will buy it. Luke Keyshaw in the class of 2022. Twins prospect I like a lot. Christian Javier on the rookie uh, from Tops. I think this is Brooklyn. Brooklyn, right? Yeah, Brooklyn. It's thicker. Yeah, thick card. Thick with three three Cs. Uh, but anyway, uh, Christian Javier, gold rookie. Looks like an orange, but it's actually gold. Thrillers. Uh, CJ Stroud, red plaid. Looks really good. Tom Brady on the blue reactive. A couple of Kelvin Alcantara relief autos. Even though I told myself I'm not going to buy any more leaf. <laughs> but I did anyway. Uh, Ezekiel Tovar... On the uh, Sapphire to 199 auto. Um, oh, it's a PC card. I don't know why it's in the stack. But Corey Koski, one of my favorite twins. I uh, got his auto right there. Razzle Dazzle, Dak Prescott. Kobe on um, the Panini. I forgot what it came from. Anthology. Kazam card from Shaq. I don't know why I bought this. It just looked kind of cool. And it's one of the worst movies of all time. So... That's enough for me to buy it. Uh, Antonio Poguero, another Marlins, or he's a Marlins prospect I like. I have like three or four of him. Uh, Justin Burrow on the uh, Gridiron Kings. And then two Scary Terries on the Silver. Uh, this is Field Level. Is that what they call them? Almost at Courtside, but yeah, Field Level. I opened uh, some uh, Select Basketball yesterday, so I'm on like Select uh, term, or Basketball Terms. A uh, Blue... Uh, from Hoops right there of Luca. This is from 2019, 2020, or yeah. Um, status, a John Morant auto, or a rookie, not auto. As you can see, there's no ink on it. And then a Keegan Murray um, on the pink, or not pink. Yeah, pink. I think it's pink. It's a hyper. Shaq. On a little, uh, like, Hoops uh, tribute card. Uh, Drew Brees, right there on a blue reactive. A yellow of Jason Dominguez. Actually, looks like gold. It is gold. Oh, it's gold foil. It's not yellow. The listing head is yellow. Hmm. Like I said, I just literally just open boxes and put them here. <laughs> That's all I've been doing. Although there is one card uh, I'm going to show you at the very end. And it's why I'm not going to use that big supplier anymore because I'm tired of the errors that they make. Uh, Casey Schmidt on the Blue Ray Wave. Uh, Ethan Salas, Bowman's Best. Big prospect of the Padres. And a CD Lamb on the Light Blue Rookie Die Cut. So those are those. Those are mainly going to be flips, things that could be graded, uh, things like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then for the PC, uh, Anthony Edwards, uh, Prism Blue. Uh, this is number to, was it 199? Yeah, 199, number 161. Hopefully, how many points he scores tonight. I uh, got a, a redemption here um, of Obsidian for uh, Jordan Addison. I'm actually thinking about selling this. I don't think I want to deal with the whole redemption thing, but we'll see. And then. A couple UFC autos here. We got uh, Al Jermaine Sterling. I got a uh, Jalen Turner. And last but not least, Raquel Pennington. Raquel Pennington. A couple more for you. I went to UNLV, so did J.R. Ryder. So I had to get a J.R. Ryder auto, uh, auto. He's also a former Timberwolf. Um, Daniil Hunter, big fan of his, although I don't think he's a Viking anymore, but I got his auto. Joe Nathan, I love this guy. Um, wish he would have played a little bit more until his elbow popped when he went to the uh, Rangers. But uh, anyway, really good closer for the Twins back in the day. And then uh, something that's new to my PC is game used bats of 500 home run clubs. So start with the guy who hit the most home runs, despite also using the most steroids in uh, Barry Bonds. 
and then a guy who uh, maintained cleanliness and sues people who call him out as a cheater. Uh, so I got to Albert Pujols. So kind of like the polar opposites of the 700 Club right there. And then my second favorite card in here, actually probably third favorite. We'll get to my favorites at the very end. Uh, Trevor Hoffman, Raleigh Fingers, Dual Auto. Um, love this card. I know uh, Raleigh. I play baseball with his son Jason. Uh, his son Jason's an awesome dude. And Hoffman. Hoffman was just awesome. Just a great human. Um, I used to work at a driving range in San Diego uh, in, up in Del Mar. And it was also mini golf. Hoffman came in there with his kids and bought every single kid in there uh, some ice cream. So it was pretty cool. And he hung out and like chatted and signed autographs with everybody. So had to get that. Uh, Kirby Puckett on the Pristine Pristine. It's encased, as you can see right there. So I'm a big Kirby collector. Bill Walton. So I used to play basketball with Luke uh, back in the day. And uh, little did, I did not think Luke had NBA material, but apparently someone else did. But uh, Luke Walton had to get the auto. Saw that, had to get it. Uh, Bill's just an awesome dude. So, And then last but not least, 1995 High School Player of the Year in Baseball, Chad Hutchinson, who was a first-round pick of the Braves, said no to the Atlanta Braves, went to Stanford to go play baseball and football, which actually ended up doing okay in that regard. Uh, so I got the auto of right here with baseball and an auto of him in football. Uh, played baseball with his brother Trevor. Uh, Trevor was drafted by the Marlins. I think he made it to AAA. I don't know if he got hurt or anything, but it looks like he was balling in AAA. So it's kind of weird that he just kind of ended. But uh, yeah, got uh, got my got my two Chads. So I collect uh, guys that went to my high school. I collect guys who went to UNLV. Collect uh, Padres and Twins autos, uh, Vikings. Um, who else do I collect on my PC? Timberwolves autos, uh, Anthony Edwards cards. I'm doing like a whole consolidation thing. That video's coming out like August, September, October. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah. So here's the reason why. And I just noticed it got way darker in here. Um, hopefully, hopefully it's not too dark. So I bought this L.A. De La Cruz. And it was supposed to be a rainbow foil. As you can see, that is not a rainbow foil card. I'll try to do this quick before the sun goes down. So I'll take this out. And then I have a Fernando Tatis base card here. I have PC Fernando, that's why it's in a, uh, in a holder. So, as you can see, there's no extra shine with the Ellie card. This is not the first time it's happened to me with DC Sports, uh, but it's definitely the last. Um, also, the Anthony Edwards card, the reason why it's in the PC pile is because DC Sports is not going to take it back. I don't know if you guys know, but they don't tape the cards on the top. They don't put a piece of tape right here like everyone else does. Uh, they put them in team bags. And every once in a while in a team bag, if you buy enough cards, you know this, the card will come out a little bit and will actually damage the corner. Um, that's what happened with the, uh, where is it? With the, uh, with the card, with the, um, the Anthony Edwards card is it damaged one of the corners. Um, let me find it for you before it gets too dark. I'm trying to do this before the sun goes down. So this corner, the picture actually shows it being pretty legit. And as you can see, that corner is damaged. Um, I'm just, I love DC. I love how quick they are. I love how they have so much product, whether it be high end, low end, medium, kind of where my range is lately. But I, I, I can't take these, these quality control issues anymore. So, um, plus I'm going to be going a little bit higher end and, uh, I just don't know if I want to risk it with them anymore. So in one order, two issues, not good. Um, but yeah, but if you buy from them, you like them, Hey, keep using them, whatever. I'm just a dude, but that's it. That's my mail day video. Uh, go Timberwolves. If you like this video, awesome. If you're on any apps, throw all your money and the house and the mortgage on the Timberwolves. I think we go to a note tonight. Then again, I'm a degenerate gambler. You probably should listen to me. And until next time, everybody have a great day. Thanks.